Bonjour à tous et bonjour à toutes, j'espère que vous allez bien. Le Média l'Anticapitaliste a décidé d'organiser une semaine spéciale de solidarité avec l'Ukraine en postant quotidiennement un petit film d'entretien que nous avons réalisé avec des militants et des militantes ukrainiens et ukrainiennes sur place, sur la base d'une délégation qui s'est rendue là-bas, dans la région de Lviv, au tout début du mois de mai, à l'appel d'une organisation qui s'appelle Mouvement Social. Cette délégation européenne était inscrite dans le cadre du réseau européen Solidarité Ukraine, nous étions une vingtaine de membres, venus de plusieurs pays, de Grande-Bretagne, d'Allemagne, de Suisse, d'Autriche, de l'État espagnol, de France également, parmi lesquels Catherine Samary et moi pour le nouveau parti anticapitaliste, des camarades d'ensemble, de PEPS, il y avait aussi Mireille Fanon, Mendes France de la Fondation France Fanon. Nous avons sélectionné quelques-uns et quelques-unes de ceux et celles que nous avons rencontrés, et donc pour essayer de casser peut-être quelques préjugés qui tétanisent parfois une partie de la gauche dans sa solidarité avec le peuple ukrainien, nous avons décidé de leur donner la parole directement. Donc on commence aujourd'hui avec Vitaly, qui est un des responsables de cette organisation du mouvement social, une organisation gauche ukrainienne qui se revendique de l'émancipation, de l'internationalisme et du socialisme. N'hésitez pas donc à relayer ces vidéos un maximum autour de vous. C'est peut-être aussi une façon de s'identifier plus facilement avec ceux et celles qui luttent à la fois contre l'impérialisme russe de Poutine et qui continuent à lutter contre la politique libérale de leur propre gouvernement. We are fighting for the independence of Ukraine against Russian invaders, but in that time we are fighting for the socialism which brings more protection to every working person. My name is Vitaly Dudin. I'm the head of the board of NGO Social Movement, which is a democratic socialist organization which is struggling for workers' rights. It was uh, established in 2015, seven years ago, by uh, left and uh, trade union activists. Today, Ukraine is uh, facing the destructive Russian aggression. In, on 24th of February, Putin's regime started unprovoked, totally unreasonable offensive against Ukraine. It uh, caused thousands of deaths for a moment. It caused the destruction of uh, thousands of houses. It uh, caused the loss of income for millions of people. And uh, in that time, it's uh, a big problem that our uh, government is still uh, driven by the neoliberal and market-oriented policy because this policy puts business interests instead of uh, the workers' uh, interests. So we are fighting for the independence of Ukraine against Russian invaders, but in that time we are fighting for the socialism which brings more protection to every working person. Uh, today, NGO Social Movement has a legal status, a civic organization, and uh, before the war we um, organized different uh, rallies uh, in favor of uh, workers. We supported strikes of miners, we supported the protests of nurses, of railway workers, and in every case we mentioned that we are not fighting only for group or individual interests, but we are fighting for the transformation for the whole society. We are fighting against uh, oligarchization, against austerity and uh, neoliberal uh, reforms. And uh, yes, we are saying in our materials that we are for uh, socialism, but we are not uh, struggling for the Soviet one. We are for the future, not for the past. We are for the democracy, but not uh, for the uh, conservative ideology. We can differentiate between uh, particular uh, help 
and uh, between uh, more global political help. Uh, I want to admit that uh, a lot of workers, especially trade union uh, activists, they are receiving help from our organization and uh, we strongly appreciate every humanitarian aid uh, for us which uh, we can uh, distribute among uh, people who are in need in need who are on the front line or they are living in the cities which are the danger of invasion or they are refugees and they have no income and living without houses in other cities of course it's very important because people are suffering not only from the war which was started by Russian imperialism but also people are suffering from the inefficient uh, neoliberal policy and uh, if we talking about uh, political um, aid uh, of course you can help us uh, by pushing um, the agenda in favor of Ukrainian independence you can help us to fighting against some myths of Putin's propaganda they telling the world some false arguments like they are fighting against uh, Nazification of Ukraine I think uh, it's uh, lies people uh, of Ukraine they are not Nazis they want to live in independent states and uh, we appreciate uh, our comrades from leftist socialist organizations who are describing the Putin's regime as conservative, authoritarian and in fact pro-fascist. Uh, those uh, political uh, arguments they should be challenged and also we should fight against the global system of capitalism because it will help us to build more independent policy in Ukraine and will uh, create the opportunity for real leftist uh, policy in our country. For example, cancellation of Ukrainians foreign debt. For example, uh, fighting against uh, tax havens can help Ukraine to rebuild itself and in the same time it uh, will uh, be the step against uh, today's uh, unfair political neoliberal system in the world. No pasaran. Long live international socialism. <laughs>